Well, hello everyone, and welcome back here to Meet the Grabbiners, and I was not expecting this. It's Ellen's birthday. Today she embarks on the next stage of life's great adventure. I'm not buy her a birthday cake and throw a party. We may just do that. Let's have a quick look at... Oh, today is yet another snow day. Young Tallulah is not getting much education done, but okay. Right, Ellen. Let's have a quick look at you then. Okay, so you are aging up to an adult. Uh, actually, thinking about it, how long have you got until you age up? Three days, okay. And while we're looking at you guys, let's have a look at your lifetime. Okay, you've got a fair amount of uh, points here, so let's see what we can do with you. Um, inappropriate in a good way seems to. Uh, a good one for uh, Ellen. Uh, the fact that she travels so much. Prepared traveller would be good. Uh, what else have we got here? Steel bladder is always a useful one. No bills ever. Would actually be a good one here. Fast burner wouldn't hurt. Let's spend the money on no bills ever. There we go. And we'll wait until you get over 10,000. Likewise with you. So. Okay, so it looks like we might be throwing a birthday party today when these lot finally uh, surface. Uh, but uh, I want to spend a little bit of the time focusing on this young lady here who seems to be rather happy about something to be honest with you okay right well let's get you dressed okay uh, change outfits every day there we go and get me some breakfast so clean it up eat leftovers have a slice of cake for breakfast there we go and if you would actually be a dear could you clean out the bad food as well that's very kind Alright, okay, so Tallulah here. I think it's about time that she started thinking about the prom. I mean, she knows uh, Jupiter Bell here and Matthew Hanning, but he's an adult. Who else do you know? He might be a teen. Kylie, you know, adult. Alright. Most of the people you know who are adults. So we'll start off, let's get, so uh, you seem to be running into this guy all over the place, so why don't you have a chat with him, perhaps you can go out with him later on. And Ellen when she awakes, which won't be long, we need to have a, perhaps uh, get to know a few people, perhaps throw up a bit of a party, in fact why not let's do that, so. Um, Smartphone. Throw party at. Yeah, let's throw party at. We always throw parties here. Let's throw a party at. Haven't done that in a long while. Oh. Ugh. Oh. You, oh, good. I was thinking you're going to go out that, that young lady. You're going to catch your death here, will you? Catch your death. Right, so you're going to make a call, and then after that, I think you know, actually you could work on... You don't actually have that much in the way of skills, and one of the things I would love you to do is actually sign up so for some after-school activities, which I think you could still do through the phone. Um, services... Nope, okay. Uh, Send you down to the school. Get you to sign up for stuff. I know it's a, a snow day, but oh, attend driving class. Yes, let's do that. Attend a driving class. Sign up for after school class. Um, yeah, get to do debate club, and we'll we'll sign you up for another one. Because you need to get those skills going on, you young lady. We need to get those skills going on your... Right. 
Oh, troop is out. Okay, actually, while I'm thinking about it. Uh, holiday house lights. Hanging. Multicolored. There we go. They look multicolored, absolutely. These two are still sleeping in the sleep of the. Uh, I was going to say the just, but one of them's Damien. That doesn't hardly work, would it? So, yeah. Attending a driving class there? No, I can't put it hold. And, right, let's speed things up for a little bit. Let these guys wake up. I don't know how it works today. It's a Wednesday. Uh, Damien works. Ellen, so they both work. So one to one o'clock, and uh, yeah, they both start working at one o'clock. So and Ellen is up. Zupa. Zupa. Right, to choose a destination. Where should we? Where should we have a, a party? Um, Where's that? Grind. Uh, no, that's a bit grindy. Yeah, sorry. Um, as I lounge, that, that's too much. Yeah, that one'll do. Two hundred and fifty Bridgeport Sports Zone. Actually, that doesn't sound about right to me. What's this one? Uigis, Uigis. That's that's that's. Uh, how much does excuses access to get asked? Uh, Four hundred. Yeah, no. Spend 250 and we shall invite Mr. Fangman. Um, to Lula's friend. Uh, one of Damien's current targets. Daisy Swizzle. There we go. Let's have Daisy Swizzle and Are there any other teenagers. No, we don't. There's a, a surprising lack of teenagers in this town, which is a bit of a problem. So, what else should, who else should we have? Um, Damien, Ellen's acquaintance, Ellen, Damien's friend, and it's... <laughs> Does Ellen actually have any friends? Uh, something very, very true about Ellen here. Um... Uh, we've invited William Fangman, who is her, her best friend at the moment, to be totally honest with you. Um, people she works with. There we go. Let's invite some of these. So Kirby Wise and Ashton, uh, Devin Ashton, because... Yeah, Devin Ashton because Davey knows him well, so we'll do that. And it's going to be a destination party. The time it starts will be 1900 after work, and the dress code will be casual attire. So there we go, that's that sorted. Party will start at 7. I appreciate it. I never understood what that message meant. It doesn't seem to actually match the words. Okay, Ellen. That's right, you didn't do so well in uh, in China, so let's actually get you practicing again, shall we? Right, so, uh, oh, actually, you've got an opportunity, haven't you? Um, you really mean yes. You really mean yes. You really mean shut it, bitch, I'm talking. There is no no. Okay, read that, and then if you have time, then you can practice. Uh, let's see how well you do on balsa wood boards now. You should be able to do those. And Damien's doing what he does best, which is sleeping. Let's sell that camera. He's never going to use it. There we go. Right. Uh, anything else? What state are you in? Hungry. You're hungry as well. Uh, it's... So Damien, clean that up. And... Let's serve some breakfast. Uh, I'd love that for there to be actually more breakfast opportunities. You know, it's like uh, 
pancakes or waffles. Okay, it's it's very very sort of traditional American breakfast fare, but uh, nice to see something else that turned up. Uh, Tallulah has now signed up for the debate club. Prepare your notes. Prepare your counter arguments. Prepare for trouble. Make it double. Oh, sorry, wrong game. Um. Okay, where are you? You're there. Can you get another after-school activity? You can. Sports, drama, or study. Sports, drama, or study. Mm. Let's do drama. Mm. Yeah, I mean, she does have sort of interests in that area, so let's do drama. And let's go somewhere where you could meet, perhaps meet people your age up there. Uh, actually, right, right. just here will do, won't it? Um, oh, that's the igloo you made the other day. Right, do some snowboarding for it. Set colour. Oh, it's got lights. Okay, set colour and snowboard. There you go, snowboard for a little bit. Do you, I think to be totally honest, you slept enough. Um, you wake up at 12.30, you're just going to go to work and you will go to work hungry and it won't be good. So, let's get this stuff done. Ooh, so so. It's the lovely Delicia Hoover. Right, he's, he's getting quite hungry now. He's not very happy at all. Dame has got no social whatsoever. We'll have to remedy that. And how are you doing with your book? You've nearly read that. Yeah, you're doing alright. I think actually though, we're going to... No, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold everything, young lady, hold everything. First of all, you need some breakfast, so let's have a quick breakfast. Eat, cake, slice. Damien. Yeah, so you'll need to go to work in a sec. Manage you as well, and presuming you go in the nicer car. Go to work, here we go, and Damien, turn it off for a sec, you eat a pancake. Yeah, you're so close to a promotion, you can actually stand turning... Good lord. Good. That. You know, she does actually look slightly insane, doesn't she? I mean, let's be honest here. Oh, there we go. All right. Um, why not? And actually, let's get those walls up. Perhaps a little too up there. I don't know. go. That's probably going to be our thumbnail. Delicia Hoover, the cackling maid. <laughs> All right, okay, let's uh, get out of that and get the walls down. Uh, that one, there we go, and get things back going. Come on, Damien, you have a slice of those. Grab a plate, that's it. Uh, you eat that and you go to work. Oh. Looks like the cars have given up on our people here. Still, that's not the end of the world. Right. Okay, go to work. Is there a button here that says go to work? Oh, no, you're just going to... Oh, yeah, that'll do. All right, and Damien. Jobs available one. Pick up food for shoot. Let's start off with that. That'll make your people happy with you. 
All right, okay, and let's have a look at Tallulah. What are you up to, young lady? What are you up to? Anybody hanging around here that you can talk to? Uh, I think I'm actually going to need to stock some teenagers. Actually, here's a thought. I think I need to talk, stock some teenagers in this town. And uh, you know, if you guys have some some nice teenagers, you know, a, a, a nice young man for Tallulah, do let me know. Do send me uh, the teenager. And I'll ask uh, Laura or April how to actually install them in the game because I have no idea. Alright, so there. There's nobody here at all, really, is there? So, uh, we'll leave you snowboarding for a little while. How about get rid of that one and we'll promise that wish there. You do a few snowboarding tricks. Perhaps you'll get, uh, who's this? Who's this? Who are you, sir? Who are you? And you know how I said I think I had the thumbnail for the game uh, for this episode? I take it all back. <laughs> I think that says everything about The Sims. Everything indeed. There we go. Who are you? Tom Wordy. Too sexy for clothes. All right. Yes, I think that image has been uh, unfortunately etched onto my brain. Let's move on. What are you up to, Damien? Uh, let's get you uh, pick up food for shoot. Yeah, like pick up food. Return to movie set. Has no jobs for her. She's let's try something new. Let's propose a new course of action, and uh, if it works well, we'll give her a big boost to her career. Go and. Damien, how you doing? That's it, you just just stare at your work for a bit. That's exactly what you need to do. Job done. Apparently not. Okay, right, that's a little bit old. Suck up to the director. That might give you a bit of social. Yeah, that's giving you a bit of social. Excellent. From one chef to another. Let's go. Socialize. Boot up with, with very tender love to socialize and share cooking tips. And a relationship boost. Yes, why not? Why don't I give that a try? And no, don't want to move you into a high rise building just yet. Don't know who he is. Alright. Okay, day is over already. Taluna Gravener is sleeping on a community lot. She will always remember getting so tired that she decided that just about anywhere would be a good place to sleep. You could at least use the igloo you made. I mean, come on. Right, let's get you sorted out. Mm hmm right. Use and then you need to go to the party. You are freezing, you foolish woman, you you're foolish, foolish person. And where was the where we had the party? It was Why am I not getting any icons on the town? I'm in map mode, aren't I? Sure I am. Uh, 
Okay, it's decided you're going to fight me. What's going on here? Tallulah sleeping a lot. Damien, got an extra five power. Uh, Simonian Rays per dower. Alan's party at Uigi's. And Ellen has earned 327 Simonians, which more than pays for the party. And I have no bubbles. Yes, I have no bubbles today. Is this it? This is going to be fun. Absolutely no idea what's going on here. Sims games don't like me at the moment, I think. No. No idea, no idea whatsoever what's going on here, but I apparently have no bubbles over. I set something here. I don't think I did. No, that's not going to change it, is it? Uh, where are you? Making a snowman. Right, so I have someone who's actually not on a lot. What about if I try this? Right, okay, you've got, you can see them. You can see them. Why can you see them? You can see one, two, but not the rest. Oh, you can see that one. Uh, ah, of course, of course. Yes, this is. Uh, this is blighted my life once before I remember this now. Okay, so you want to go to. Luigi's. Where is Luigi's? The Brightmore. There we go, Luigi's. To go there, visit Luigi's. And likewise, you, young lady, visit Luigi's. There we go. Let's see the birthday girl. She who she who makes one third of a snowman. Oh, this is boring. Come on, speed up. I gotta be honest with you, I am so tempted to take all these subways out of this town because I actually think they slow travel down. It's, uh, you know, they get in the taxi and they drive a little bit and then they, they, they go to the subway then they get in another taxi and they drive a little bit and it just seems to be rather counterproductive. Oh, ah, that's, that's my grumbling over. Right, come on, let's get this birthday over. Let's age Ellen up. Oh, somebody's turned up. David, Devin Ashton... A friendly introduction if you work with him. Okay, so go to floor level B1. You two go to floor level B1 and guess where you're going. Level B1, there we go, that'll do. Alright, and. Are you turning up your own birthday party? Starting to wonder. And also, what I'm thinking about it, change outfit. And let's get you in your formal wear. There we go. Alright. Don't seem to much like these whole the whole formal wear thing, do they? No, no Ed and Gravel just passed through the doors of a lounge. Made it in there. <laughs> this is this is where an accident wipes out my entire family of sins. 
Okay, and let's just see if I can get a birthday cake in here. Not easily, of course. I should have got someone to pick it up. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to make a birthday cake here. And let's have a little bit of a party. And then she can come back and blow out the candles here. Uh, parties. Birthday Inferno cake. Here we go. You actually doing something? No. Oh, well done, Ellen. Yes. You show that poise. You show that poise, my girl. Alright, okay. Uh, change outfits. You get into your f formal wear. And I think I set the party as casual, but I've changed my mind. Change outfit. You go into your formal wear. It is so rare a chance for me to change them into their formal wear. And the name's Grabener. Damien Grabener. Uh, go and order some drinks. Actually buy a round of drinks and order food a group serving of let's have some pizza there we go here you go and you two you need to uh, start some socializing with some people Play Darwin's Revenge and Ellen. Usually I'm talking to some people. Uh, join play. Come on. There we go. Jeffrey Cook would like to know if Ellen Grabner would like to go on a date. No, because she's in the middle of a party. Mm. And play chess. I think this is the right place to play chess. Talk to Devon. Yeah, I think we can promise that. Buy an exercise machine. We really should do that for you, but not at the moment. Yeah, and Damon. Yeah, you get your... Sounds like me playing the piano. I think it's out. Oh, yeah. Somebody's having fun. Oh, somebody's having a limited amount of fun. Okay, so you come here and yeah, it's just, it's your aunt's birthday, so you grab yourself a a romantic drink. Good lord, let's not do that. Grab a party drink. There we go. And Damien's ordering food, good man, and Ellen is playing a game. Oh. On her own, it would appear. Yeah. Some voracious shell pipney. Oh, something similar. Right. Johnny Jones, Devin Ashton. Devin seems to be running away from Ellen here a lot, so let's 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 do the sensible thing and get Ellen to go and just sort of trap him in a corner and talk to him. Um, still haven't managed the introduction. Uh, the introduction and talk about the snow and do the rest later on. There we go. Uh, hey. Damien, <laughs> grab a drink. And who's this? Uh, the amazing teleporting pinyin. So, right, charming introduction. I think this was the one who ran away from you the other day. Let's see if she does it this time. Well, hello. A chinka be bizarre. She's into it, that's scary. Yeah. Okay. 
He's talking about his meat and two veg. Okay, that's probably sounds about right. All right, take a romantic drink to Pinion, which you can't do yet. Okay, get to know Pinion a little better. Uh, okay, and tell joke and special. Do something charismatic rather than flirty. Uh, tell a funny story. Um, special charismatic. Yes, let's do a pickup line and see how well that works. Nope, didn't want that. And as uh, charismatic. Just give her a generalised compliment. There we go. Oh. It's Ellen's birthday. Happy birthday. Okay, so she's actually going to age up here, and why not? Normally what happens here is she ends up looking exactly the same, just wearing worse clothes. Ellen is now a fully mature, at least some of the time, adult. She'll really need to think about establishing herself in her career and family life while there is still some time. <laughs> I've got some plans. <laughs> You're not going to believe what my plans are, but I have some plans. Right, okay, so. She's aged up. Does she actually manage to introduce? Yes, she has managed to introduce. So... Ask about career, friendly, get to know, friendly, debate politics. They're both in the same career, if I remember right. And dance together. See if that'll work. And you, young lady. Oh, you, you're in a bad way, aren't you? Did you actually get to make that pizza? No. I think what I'm going to do with you is I'm going to get you to a drink, a party drink, and then go home. <laughs> Is it me, or is Damien just standing there staring at a space where his friend his friend was? Yep. The Damien Grabbin' a charm has struck once again. Right, get rid of these. Get rid of these. Get rid of these. Get rid of these. Have a drink. There we go. So Luna, what are you up to? There we go. Oh, and Ellen is finally talking to people. How's that? That's good. Alright, uh, Devin thinks that Ellen is okay. Let's try something funny. Delivery time. If anyone's a natural comedian, it's Ellen. The suave, the sophisticated, William Fangman came second to a door. Not good. You going home or what? Uh, okay. Damien, is there any young young ladies here you can talk to? Oh, Seems to say, why don't you go to uh, William to just carry on pee, uh, carry on till he pees himself? But well, that would be rude. Harry Marks, ask to join play. Let's get him in. Hey, come on, go home. Go home, young lady. Go home. <laughs> Kirby Wise, thinking about Tallulah and yawning. That says an awful lot, doesn't it? <laughs> Seems to be catching. <laughs> Come on! Oh, yeah, give up on that. Well, there is Ellen, the mature adult, uh, who has decided that she doesn't like these people at all and is just going to read that book. And I can't say that. Anyway. <laughs> I'm in a midlife crisis. Just what we need. Clark. <laughs> what earth is that music? Is 
isn't that when death turns up or something like that? Oh, oh very good. Damien! Woman! Uh, give her a charming introduction. And Ellen, you're, your heart's clearly not in this. Go home. Ah, that's why. She started having a midlife crisis. That's what the music was for. Alright. I managed to do a grand total of bugger all that I planned to do this episode. But still, Ellen aged up. Damien has found more women to terrorise. And Tallulah decided to sleep on a park bench. What more could you ask for? I mean, this is entertainment at its highest. Next episode, this person is going to get herself uh, acquainted with some teenagers. If you know, if you have some teenagers that you think would go well with her, let me know. And. Ellen's dastardly plan for world domination, or something to that extent, is going to start happening. She's actually, oh, she's having a midlife crisis, but she's really, really enjoying her midlife crisis. I suppose that's a good thing. Uh, move to a new house. We can barely afford the house we've got. We're not moving to a new one. Oh, so, okay, until next time, I have been Simon Parsons. This has been Sims 3 Meet the Grabbiners. Thank you, and... Good night.